In this problem, we will draw the shear and moment diagrams for each member of the frame A, B, C, D. The frame has two pinned connections at B and C. The support A is fixed and the support D is pinned. The frame is subjected to four point loads on a horizontal member B, C and a uniform lateral load of 0.8 K per foot on the member A, B. In order to solve frames with pinned connections, we have to break the members at the pinned connections. In this problem, we need to break the frame at B and C and cut the frame into three separate members, column AB, beam BC, and column CD. For each member, we need to draw free body diagrams. There are two connection forces at the pinned connection, X and Y forces. There is no moment resistance at the pinned connection, namely, the moment at pins are zero. At fixed support A, there are three reaction components, X and Y forces and moment resistance M. At pin support D, there are two reactions, X and Y forces. Next, we need to determine the connection forces and support reactions. There are three equilibrium equations for each member. For frames with pinned connections, we will start with the column having pinned or roller support because such columns have the least unknown to solve and we can avoid solving simultaneous equations. So we will start with members 3, CD. We notice that the unknown forces CX, CY, and DY all pass the point C, so we sum the moment at point C. The force DX times 15 feet equal to zero, and therefore DX equal to zero. Then we sum the forces in the x direction for the member 3. dx plus cx equal to 0, therefore cx equal to 0. Then we sum the forces in the y direction, dy minus cy equals 0, and we get dy equal to cy. We don't have the exact value of dy and cy yet because for one member, we can only solve three unknowns. Now, we have used all three equations for the member CD. Next, we'll move to member 1, BC. We have solved CX equal to zero, and we have three unknowns left for the member BC, and we can solve all the three unknowns by applying the three equilibrium equations for the member 1. The sum of the force in x direction equal to 0. And we get bx equal to 0. Then we sum the moment about point B to solve Cy. Bx by the concentrated loads three keeps at point B and CX all past point B. Assuming the clockwise moment is positive, the point load six keeps times uh, the arm of eight feet plus the point load of six keeps times the arm of sixteen feet plus the point load of 3 kips times the arm of 24 feet minus CY times the arm of 24 feet is equal to 0. And we get CY equal to 9 kips. Next, we will sum the force in the Y direction for the member 1. BY minus 3 kips minus 6 kips minus 6 kips minus 3 kips plus CY which is 9 kips equal to 0, and we can get by equal to 9 kips. 
Next, we will solve the reactions number two A B. Now there are three unknowns in member A B, A X, A Y, and M A. We can solve these three unknowns by using three equilibrium equations of member A B. Sum the forces in the y direction, and we can get a y equal to nine kips. Sum the forces in the x direction, the uniform load of 0.8 kip per volt times the length of 15 feet minus a x equal to zero, and we get a x equal to 12 feet, 12 kips. Assuming the clockwise moment to be positive, we sum the moment about point a. 0.8 kip per foot times the length of 15 feet and times the arm to the resultant force 15 feet over 2 minus ma equal to 0. We get ma equal to 90 kip feet counterclockwise. Next, we will draw shear diagrams of the frame. We treat the separate members as individual beams. Shear force is the force perpendicular to the member. For member AB, the shear force at A equal to AX equal to 12 kips, and the shear force at B equal to 0. We connect A and B with the straight line because the member AB is subject to uniform load. For member BC, there are four critical points, B, C, and two points of six kips load. The shear force in each segment of member BC is constant because there's no distributed load in member BC. For member CD, the shear force is zero because CX and GX equal to zero. Last, we will draw the moment diagrams for the frame. The moment at the pin connections B and C and at pin support D are zero. For member AB, the moment at B is zero. And the moment at A equal to MA equal to 90 keep feet. We connect A and B with the second order curve because the shear diagram of the member AB is a straight line. For member BC, there are four critical points, B, C, and two points under six keep load. MB equal to zero. The moment at the first six keep load points equal to MB plus the area of the shear diagram which is 6 kip times 8 feet equal to 0 plus 48 equal to 48 kip feet. Then we connect these two points with a straight line because the shear force is constant. Since the shear force between the two 6 kip load is 0, the moment between these two points keeps constant. The moment at C is 0. Then we connect C and the second six keep load point with a straight line because the shear force is constant. For member C D, M C equal to zero, M D equal to zero. We connect C and D with a straight line, so the moment and the member C D is zero.